Okay. I wanted to explain why I'm doing this food, and um, um, it's it's springtime, and I'm doing some purging. And last time I did some purging was eight years ago when I first moved into my apartment. Um, it one in one day I pulled out so much stuff. I had to go through every item, and it's just one closet. It's not fun. Um, I've done a couple sections here and there and it's hard especially if you're by yourself so um, purging is not easy uh, you have to get rid of stuff that you no longer need um, and just to breathe a little and get some air it one has to um, unfortunately do some purging there's some things I really need to get rid of so with that um, I've been really exhausted. I'm tired. So I'm going to do some cheating. And I'm going to do a chile verde, um, chile verde with beef instead of the traditional pork or chicken. A lot of people use the chicken. But um, so the, 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 <laughs> the meat man in the store said, you can't do a chile verde with beef. And I said, says who? <laughs> he said, and he said, because it's not right. It doesn't matter. You could use whatever, every, any kind of meat that you want. So, okay. What I'm going to do is just saute some meat. Here, we're going to put some Thrive in here because I'm going to need it. Um, and then I have my stock. This is my stock um, that I had. In, um, and this is my... This is Chuck Rose. And I just basically took half of that. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Yeah, I'm using my hands. Breaking all the rules here. Only I, I do wash them so I don't cross and contaminate. In between, I'm just going to saute that real well. And then I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some of my seasoning in there. Just to season it up. Real simple. And these are the ingredients that I'm going to put that up, wrap it up, put it out, make sure you put it in a place where it doesn't cross contaminate. These are some items that I found. And if you can find them at the grocery store, and I like putting hominy with my garbanzo beans. And because I'm on a budget, I there's usually a, hom uh, a hominy that I use that reminds me of my grandmother's hominy. And um, and so pozole and um, so I'm on a real tight budget this month. <laughs> so, anyways, so I have some green chili salsa and some hominy, some garbanzo beans, and this is to make it into the chile verde. And then I'll use probably about a couple cups of that. So basically, what I want to do is just go ahead and saute it. Okay, my my beef. Okay, so I'm real high. Cause this is gonna. I, I want my beef to become tender. So you want it to be like a stew, just like you would do pork. So and this is Chuck roast. I cubed it. Small dice, small medium dices. I have the fire on really high. There you go. That's really good. You can you can also use lamb. You can also use you can use some lamb if you'd like. Um, 
even turkey turkey my aunt used to make her mole with turkey <laughs> turkey lace it was so good and I figure pretty much any kind of meat that you can find would do well so and uh, for all you deer hunters out there I'm sure that deer would work well with this as well um, but I would suggest a red pozole with the deer meat delicious the meat <laughs> and the seasoning is just perfect and so I usually saute it until it's uh, a lot of the, its own liquids is dissolved has dissolved and then I add the um, the stock to it. I've had this stock in the freezer. Oops. Sorry about that. So I've had that stock oops, in the freezer. Um, okay, that's just too much. So I've had that stock in the freezer for um, for a little bit. And um, when I don't have anything to use with it, I just put it in the freezer. And there I have my stock. Unless you can buy your own stock, so which makes it even better and easier. But sometimes when you have like those um, those veggies that you want to throw out, don't throw them out. Just make a stock. I mean, you can make them out of stems. Um, some, some veggies that are not, you know, they're not pleasant anymore. Make a stock and just boil them up and make a nice stock and that's a vegetable stock. Thank <laughs> you. 
and I found this creamy this creamy it has avocado in it pour that in there and probably just half of that half of this there's some stuff out there and that's it you let it simmer really easy See how easy that was? <laughs> and that's my <laughs> Chile Verde, my cheating Chile Lazy and cheating Chile Verde with beef, with carne asada, whatever, beef chuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Oh, let it simmer for about a good 30, 25 to 30, 20 to 30 minutes until that beef gets kind of tender and you have soup so this is my I love this so it's easy and I don't have to go all, of, all the stores and try to find I love my fresh vegetables but honey spring cleaning and purging is no joke all right talk to you later bye